Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Kirkby Shaw, and this is Sal, and we're going to demonstrate how to do passive range of motion of the elbow joint, for example, if your dog just had elbow surgery. So you'd have them laying in a comfortable position, for example, on the floor or on their dog bed, and they'll start by just gently massaging the muscles around the elbow joint, which is here. If your dog just had surgery, their, their leg would be shaved, and there may be an incision with a couple stitches in it. That's okay, you can massage right around there. So then we'll flex the elbow joint, until you meet resistance and your dog will let you know what's too much. So you just get to that point and hold for about five or 10 seconds and then extend. I'm supporting with one hand on either side of the joint. So this should not be painful. We're just going for a gentle stretch and you're gonna repeat about 10 times in each direction. And you'll probably do it three or four times a day or whatever is directed to you by your veterinarian and surgeon. So that's the elbow joint. We can also work on flexion extension of the carpus or the wrist joint. And so you'd hold right above the joint and then hold the paw and you can flex, bring the toes all the way back as far as they can go and hold for about five or 10 seconds and then extend. And extension is really just about a straight line. And then up at the shoulder joint, we can hold right over the elbow and then flex the shoulder. It's pretty rare that we're targeting specifically flexion of the shoulder as a stretch, but more importantly, we will often recommend to extend the shoulder way up above and do a big reach. And so for here, I have one hand supporting just in front of the shoulder joint, one hand over the back of the elbow, going for a big stretch and reach here. And coming back. And so your passive range of motion exercises would take about five minutes a few times a day. Again, always under the direction and guidance of your veterinarian and surgeon. And if you have any questions, be sure to call your veterinarian and surgeon. This is passive range of motion of the front leg.